Tasha Dele. Uh, so let's start with a few more introductions. Where have we left off? His name is Tsiring Rabge. So he wants to be a sheep because he has he, he has grown up with a sheep, flock of sheep. So. His name is Sonam Topdin. Piu. Karsin. He wants to be a monkey because he likes to play like monkeys. He <laughs> jump and play. Lopsang. Lopsang Rabge. His name is Lopsang Rabge. Nya. Nya la. And Karsin. <laughs> he likes to he wants to be a fish because he likes to swim. Tupten Namgel. Tupten Mudup. His name is Tupten Mudup. Changi. He wants to be a wolf. A wolf? Wolf, yeah. Why? Karchini. No reason. <laughs> Tupten Seong is his name. Luke. He wants to be a sheep. There are many sheep in his motherland. His name is Jamian Gelsen. Jamian Tenzin. Sambu Olehama. Bumar. Sambu Gawi is Kajin. <laughs> he wants to be an outworm because it doesn't have to do work, it just eats and sleeps. <laughs> they work all the time, they make the dirt. <laughs> Did we get everybody on this side of the room? Did we get everybody on this side of the room? Um, yeah, it's all done. Okay. All right, so we looked at uh, your suggestions for what you were still confused about and what you wanted to learn more about, and DNA was definitely the most popular answer. So the process of DNA, going to RNA, going to protein, which we call the central dogma, is centrally important to understanding biology. So it's worth us talking about. And sometimes I think it can be hard to picture it in your mind. And when we draw pictures and show slides, we have to take something three-dimensional and very large and compress it down to just two dimensions of the board. And often those, those representations can be slightly misleading. So I thought it might help if today we started with a movie showing DNA going to RNA going to protein. Now this is obviously not a real movie of the cell, um, but it is based off of actual microscope images and actual x-ray images. So it is our best representation of what we think the cell and its components looks like. 
Tak nak aku longi istimewa tu as. Di mana tak mune aku rasa hari ini pada pagi saya jauh maris. Ini dini dua jir lalu aku tuh tahu macam mana tak nihung gigi tu as. Di ini dua dua tu ni antara ni longi suci saya jauh jiris. So this is the cell. You can see it's completely covered with a membrane. Tak nak dia lapar cik tu indu as. Di hari ini pagi lalu na tapung res. Akhiran susu gigi tu as. Di sama kimo cik tu muka tu as tapung de. A real cell in our body would not be nearly so smooth. It would have a lot of proteins and other molecules sticking up out of it to help it interact with the environment. And a real cell, unlike what we'll see in the movie, is bustling with lots of different molecules inside of it. The movie is just going to really show the molecules of DNA going to RNA going to protein. So as we go through, bear in mind that a real cell would be like a large city with highways running through it, cars running along those highways, proteins and molecules floating all about, bumping into each other. It's a very busy place. Alright, but let's travel inside of our cell and watch this process. All right, here's our cell. This is the membrane made up of lots of molecules. We're traveling inside past a lot of the organelles and going into the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we see our DNA. Here it's packed up, but you can see it's this long string wrapped around these proteins called histones. And this is all just one single string, and perhaps this part of it would be one gene. So, we open up the DNA when we want to make turn it into RNA. Here come the RNA molecules. It knows which ones to add because it adds the matching base to the DNA. So you remember what's different? Do you notice what bases are different in the RNA base? That's not the same thing. Did you not know that RNA and DNA are different? Do you remember the four bases in DNA? And the first one, which is the DNA, is the same as the same as the DNA. Yes. A C T G. A C T G. Raw DNA analysis. RNA is the same except instead of T, they have U. RNA na chik pares khari khabar yor lao na T is sabla khari yor lao na RNA na lao U yor es. Yeah, it's going forward. You see, there's U's facing the A's instead of T's. The D. And you can see what's reading the DNA and adding the right RNA is this big molecule. It's made up of several proteins come together. It's almost like zipping a zipper open. Yeah, the DNA opens up, allowing this strand to be read and copied. So the RNA molecule is the exact complement of the gene uh, that was the opposite, that was the strand above there. How quickly 
do you think each base is added in our cells? The movie is not showing it at the right speed. And the person who is doing the chick chick gangro, the chick chick, the tundu gala, jardu gala, and the tujo kabas kurguru sangu dos kiranzo. Do you think in our cells it happens faster than the movie or slower than the movie? That's why long in our tungu do jaredi. Jolly diggers do it, and the dilla yoa do it, dilla tear do it, rest more in a sula. Dilla yoa, it is faster in real. Yes, every minute, one thousand bases can be added. Risk joy, risk kind and a kama chignala, and it did a pusum tonda doji chadu risk kama chigna. And that that um, molecule that's growing there with the use in it, that's the message, that's the messenger RNA. That's under the dudilj do, the ma 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 jaduras, the karicha or lana and so and that. We're still in the nucleus at this point. Alright, so our RNA message is being copied. The DNA unzips to allow it to be copied and then it just zips back together. Now, we haven't talked about this. The video will show it. But this RNA message can be adjusted slightly after it's first made. That the RNA the switch I was the switch I just corona only this she could teach me and talk to you dig to your wrist. Okay, the RNA has now left the nucleus in the cytoplasm, the rest of the cell. The RNA the the new shiny call to the lana to bring it as you are the non to your wrist. Okay, so in the cytoplasm, now along comes another huge molecule, the ribosome. This is going to read the RNA and translate it into amino acids to make the protein. This ribosome is something that I talked about on the first day of class, though you might not remember it. So this ribosome is a big thing with a complicated job to do and it has lots of proteins, but at its center is RNA. So RNA is actually doing the chemical reaction at the center of this molecule. That is strong evidence for why scientists think in the beginning of life, when it was first being created, it started as RNA. Because RNA can both carry the information and do chemical reactions. And only later in evolution did the carrying of information become replaced by a better molecule for that DNA, and the doing of chemical reactions become replaced by a better molecule for that as proteins. Alright, so now the ribosome is going to translate from the language of RNA and DNA to the language of protein. Okay, so proteins are made up of amino acids here represented by a simple ball. And the way that the ribosome knows which amino acid to add is it attaches the amino acid to an RNA molecule that's folded up and has at its bottom three bases exposed. We'll see that these three bases line up with three of the right bases on the messenger RNA. Okay, so 
Ari ni dinam do ti do res be su simba su pusu chairo ni ni nam do jar do res. So those would be the codons that Marge talked about, the groups of three bases that are read together. And the pulse sum nam do do ena zo codon le sangda le jo di chagi res di thanda di ke shi res. All right, so we see U C A. The thanda di ke di ari ni dir do di wall of pulse kariyo le U C A res. So they come in and fit with their matching bases. And then it adds the amino acid to this growing chain that is becoming our protein. This chain doesn't stay as one long string. It folds up into just the right shape to make a functional protein. Thanda thengwa is dodi nana rang di mares di koran chui ni ani khari chai lana toto chichan and tigers dugu res. Shall we watch it again? Yangyo tai yangyo sigim besa di. Yes. So you talked about codon. What is it? Oh, codon is the group of three bases on the DNA. That then lines up with the three bases on that RNA molecule attached to that amino acid. So they have to match up before that amino acid will be added to the protein. When we had that table, like it said, AUG was methionine and UUU was lysine, all those things, and we said the third one maybe doesn't make so much difference. Those sets of three bases on a message RNA are called codons. And there are some codons that we saw that just say stop. They're not an amino acid. They just say this is the end of my message. I have no more to say, my sentence is done. More questions and then we can watch this one time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, so we have a lekurangi tiwa di karishlana DNA na le tiwa ani pulze di ani RNA na di sab yu doas di karish khande stress rigze ki kheba yore khande stress lan di tiwa. So we have a thymine in DNA and you wrestle in RNA. So is it because of the differences in genes or what is the reason why these two are different? We're not positive, but we think it is useful to have them be slightly chemically different so that um, the cell can recognize those differences. There's also a certain type of mutation that would be very problematic with uracil. It would make, take uracil and turn it into something, a different base, but when that mutation happens to thymine, it makes a not real base. So that mutation can be corrected in DNA because of it's thymine, not uracil. So maybe, st maybe do half, half of that first. Okay. Uh, so it's useful to be able to tell the difference chemically between DNA and RNA. So it is nice for the cell that they are different. <laughs> So, 
Are tea and you these two same chemical or are these two different? They are almost identical with one very slight difference between them. The pige roji chipa rocha duris in a kepati suris dinila, zenindila. The other thing that's different is RNA, not DNA. That backbone that they show all the bases dangling from is a, is a little different in RNA. The Nazu Nangula person did do the gunlet, the curry. And it's a very small difference. One is deoxy nucleic acid, and the other one is uh, uh, it's it's an oxygen modification. So it's just a very small difference. That and the the keyboard jira, the carina rau carina two or lau na the rest are in the DNA. ちぎれ、ディオクシライボニュークリックアセットレグレ、ちぎれ、ライボニュークリックアセットレグレ。ディナンカリケバドルナツォロンユメジュラ、ディソロンマンニョディディ、ニケバティスショイレス。うん。ア
Man cha san are ne di gurum bu shune gugu yo mares kai lana koran lega de tigar dube res tigar de dub sa jala ni koran gugu yo mares cha san gurum bu ni yo mares are ne di Tanda di yo ra di karena na are na ne ti pa ne ma ti ni ma ma yo to ga di ne ga ne are ne ti ke wudu So you said uh, DNA uh, makes RNA and this message comes from um, nucleus, right? So does it mean that DNA is in the nucleus only from the beginning? Yes, DNA in eukaryotic cells is protected within the nucleus to keep it safe. Res DNA lah di karir lawan anjo. Ningden sosa ya, ningden kengen atau ena DNA di tanda di tening nanglo lah DNA di sungguh cini nyar di res. So does it mean that DNA is only in the nucleus? Yes. Res. So RNA the DNA chal you rest. This she must in a chivatong. So he said uh, DNA makes RNA and this RNA later makes protein. After this RNA makes protein, it becomes DNA. The RNA becomes DNA. When the when the RNA is done being read to make protein, it is broken down by the cell back into the individuals A, C, U, Gs. Till the day the RNA coron get linked to carry it, na trigger to be arrest. Trigger the drop side jala RNA the carry it, na thabo na do do din so ima shake ne. An than the ye ne carry pulse ya A, U, G, C la di rangja cha do arrest thod do she do arrest na. So the cell recycles the bases to use to make a new RNA molecule. Cheza tabun koran ge ker su che jora di chi yores di ge ania RNA sawaj du yores RNA DNA chali yo maris. Na. So you said RNA is the first molecule which formed, right? And later on you showed DNA makes RNA and then to protein. So it looks like, so it's quite confusing. So which came first, RNA or DNA? Um, in the beginning of life, there was just RNA. That's it. So, thangbo go to gurua. Di kapsu RNA rang res. But that is unstable. So eventually, life replaced the genetic material, the cookbook, with DNA, and it started to use RNA for more temporary functions. Di la di thangbo se so go to du gala khari or la na RNA rang res. DNA the trigger the new mares. And jala ma pe you do 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 gala rigzi ki gucha nyangi di suil chile chevo di suil do gala na DNA ki do gui res. Chesa ani RNA chabla DNA ki ani thanda rigzi gucha nyangi di chadi res. Ani RNA di chile shiva do gui res. R R I N A the R S A the rigzi ki ta do chiu naman ma shesu chiki di chini yong jo re R O N D A R I V. So is there any evidence that RNA is the first? Uh, material of uh, first life form yes or is it just by saying that okay <coughs> just a hypothesis uh, there's two pieces of evidence it's not proof but it's evidence that supports the theory the first is that RNA can do all the functions of life. It can hold genetic material and it can do chemical reactions.
So RNA could support life without DNA, without proteins. Just by itself, RNA could support life. DNA cannot do that because DNA cannot carry out chemical reactions. Proteins cannot do that because they are not good at carrying genetic information. The second piece of evidence is what we would call a molecular fossil. The ribosome, the big complex that translates RNA into protein, is mostly made up of proteins because they're the best chemical reactors. But at its center, the ones actually doing the key reaction is RNA. We think that's a remnant from the time when it was just RNA doing that. And over time, other proteins evolved to come around it and help with that. But they never fully replaced it. Marge has drawn up uracil and thymine, the U and the T from RNA and DNA. And the Marge is drawn up the carbon and 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 you see, they're almost identical, but thymine has this extra carbon. That's very important because sometimes chemical reactions happen to DNA, and if that chemical reaction happened to uracil, it would turn into a C, into cytosine. If I do this to uracil, now it's not uracil, it's cytosine. That did the Jugasa, the Jugia and the Jurjonira. So some of the idea is to, set, that happens, I just read on the internet, so it must be true, a hundred times per cell per day, uh, uh, cytosine could go to uracil. Cytosine could go to uracil. And on the molecules that are always repairing and guarding our DNA, uh, it's good that we know there should not be any uracil in our DNA. When that happens, the cell recognizes that as a mistake and fixes it back to cytosine. So that's the sort of uh, another reason people give that uh, uracil is not in the DNA. And the uracil being in RNA is not a problem because most RNAs only are around for a matter of minutes, so they don't have a chance to have that chemical reaction. So I think I, the details here will be even presented in more depth next year to you. But I think the big thing is for you to understand DNA is a very stable, double-stranded molecule that contains all of our information in our cell. 
Kari Hako Gurlana, Jane Lana Dudul Jiris, Dudul Tembuche, any Maransu Ginitsu Yangi, Dudul Tembuji Chaduris, Hansu Rizigimisu and Yangi Chaduris. And that DNA makes the message that it sends out to the cell to make all those proteins that do the work of the cell. A DNA Tabung Lama, that and your restaurant, did that on the Golan Tabung get an Amazu Que, Tigger Summer Suris. See how it's such a perfect molecule. Yeah. Yeah, maybe after we show the video. So are there DNA uh, in cells which have no nucleus? Yes, so you all know that there are two types of cells, eukaryote and prokaryote. And So in eukaryotes, there's a nucleus, and this holds the DNA. And in our pictures, the DNA is often shown like that, as chromosomes. That's a little misleading because the DNA really isn't coiled up in chromosomes most of the time. It really looks like a giant hairball of DNA strands inside the nucleus. In prokaryotes, the DNA still kind of forms a bit of a hairball. It's just not surrounded by a membrane. And it's much more spread out than in the eukaryote because it's not confined by a membrane. In many prokaryotes, like common bacteria, they're dividing every 20 minutes. And the, the DNA is not protected in a nucleus. Bacteria are copying their DNA every 20 minutes. So they can adjust to their environment, they, can, they mutate very rapidly. Shall we watch the video again? Here is a cell, the basic unit of all living tissue. In most human cells, there is a structure called the nucleus. The nucleus contains the genome. In humans, the genome is split between 23 pairs of chromosomes. Each chromosome contains a long strand of DNA, tightly packaged around proteins called histones. Within the DNA are sections called genes. The part that's lighting These up is meant to be the genes. Instructions for making proteins. And the genes are switched off. Notice what small pieces of all the DNA. The other kinds of seeds, those DNA ring buddies, are not changing the change of those seeds. Along the DNA, making a strand of messenger RNA out of free bases in the nucleus. The DNA code determines the order in which the free bases are added to the messenger RNA. When a cell RNA. divides, it does that th same thing of separating the DNA, but it puts T's across from, from A's, and that's how it makes a perfect copy of itself. The two strands go to separate cells, the two original strands, but they have a perfect copy of themselves. So when a cell divides, each cell will get exactly the same DNA strand. But this now is unfolding not to make DNA to divide the cell, but to make a message to send out to the cytoplasm. 
Ta thanda di khari tungi urla wa na thabung ni suya jora ta shu chay di di maris di thanda kha chay ni khar chay la na ne su di suya ne su di an thabung na maat naay res. This process is called transcription. Before the messenger RNA can be used as a template for the production of proteins, it needs to be processed. This involves removing and adding sections of RNA. The messenger RNA then moves out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. Protein factories in the cytoplasm, called ribosomes, bind to the messenger RNA. The ribosome reads the code in the messenger RNA to produce a chain made up of amino acids. There are 20 different types of amino acid. Transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acids to the ribosome. The messenger RNA is read three bases at a time. Those are cool those three things that coming in. This sound is called a squadron. This is added to a growing chain of amino acids. So the purple thing is the protein they are growing. To a complex 3D shape to form the protein. Do they want to see it again, or are they good? The 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 studio, the studio, the studio. Do you see? Good. So let's take a minute to talk about DNA and um, connect it to our discussion about Mendel from yesterday. That's the the DNA is the 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 answer. Because Mendel course here was ra the niyam do that jarayis. Okay, so for us, for eukaryotic cells, we have our DNA in our nucleus. And this is what it looks like, a big mess of string. But that's hard for us to see, so I'm going to draw it in a simpler way. Okay, so let's say each of these is one chromosome. Humans have 23 different chromosomes. Um, we also have about 25,000, 30,000, somewhere around there, genes. The and the genes. So each chromosome holds about a thousand genes on it. So just one tiny region of the chromosome represents a gene. But each of those genes can be thousands of bases long. Our chromosomes are very long. Now we have 23 chromosomes different chromosomes, but that means that I have 23 chromosomes from my mom and 23 from my dad. So now, if we just take these chromosomes and blow them up, one I got from my mom, one I got from my dad. Right, and there are many genes along along here. Tadi cebung dua, dia lah ni dia lah rigze mangbu yores.
this gene, let's call it gene number 342. I have gene number 342 from my mom and gene number 342 from my dad. I have two copies of that gene. So, same gene, I have two alleles of that gene. Let's say this gene controlled eye color. And let's say this person has brown eyes, which is the dominant allele. So they got the brown allele from their mom, but they got, let's say, the blue allele from their dad. They'll still have brown eyes because this dominates. Now, if we took these <coughs> genes and blew them up, we could read them. Perhaps that would be part of its sequence. Now, of course, I, we often just draw one strand of our DNA, but we know that there are two strands. So if I were being proper, we would always draw two strands. Biologists are just lazy and often just draw one. Okay, so this is our brown allele, let's say. If we were to then look at the same part of that same gene for our other allele, the blue allele. It is going to look very similar, perhaps with just small differences. Here, I made this one base different between the two. So when we talk about different alleles of the same gene, their sequence is generally almost the same with just small differences to it. So when these different alleles are read by RNA, perhaps this one adds that amino acid, and then that amino acid, and then this amino acid, circle, triangle, square, amino acids. <laughs> This one, when it gets translated, it again has the same code on, so it will make a circle. But this code on now, is different, so perhaps it doesn't make a triangle, but instead makes a diamond. 
सुरसुम जी सुख दस अमीन चोर ध्यान नहीं दी रोज छा सो ना दी मन रहा दो बोला दी गीत ठंडा फलम सुख रोज दिन रोज छा रोस एंड ऑफ कोर्स इट वल्सो मेक आर स्क्वायर दिन ये चिपा इंसान दी गिन अमीन चोर खरीफ अब जोर छोड़ लाना ठूसी जो रेस ते चिपा चिक So these alleles for the same gene have almost the same sequence, but they might make slightly different proteins. Dila do dus ta do galo kurim ta ena thanda dau do cha do res dini, elim ni ra dini dau do cha do res. Ine kura ni elkeba har do la na jala tigar sura di mandra do res. Now why is this small change in one of the say 200 amino acids in our protein so important? Ta di jo chik rang ra. अमीनो चूरता है ना निज़ा सुन्दर मंगबुज जोरेस दिग नालो जोर चिक दिग केबा केबा सोयरा दिग केचुं बुखाजिन चाबियोरेस। Well, this will make many amino acids linked together, right? 200, let's say, to make our protein. So we could represent it like a big string, and perhaps here is our triangle. तो तंदा अमीनो चूर टिगर सोये ना अमीनो चूर मंगबु बोरोस तंदा दिन अच्छा शन अमीनो चूर निज़ा स्कूली अच्छा शास टिगर दिल तो दी टिकर दी रेस टिकर दी की नाला था ना अमूल्य चुर सुरसुम जिया दी दलत सुंगोस देशायेस। Now unlike DNA and RNA, which stay as sort of strings, proteins do not stay as an elongated string. DNA ना RNA इन बाय ना नम्बर को बड़ो दी दो आस नाना दी टिकर दिन से दिन दे नाना दी मारेस। Our proteins fold up. In complicated shapes. Tigar den zo koran zo tebsu the ni ani ip manda suwe res. This is what allows them to function. It's their shape. Di la du tigar koran zo chile drop thwe di chi khari la ralu orla na koran zo ip jira di la ralu res. What controls how it folds is the interactions between the amino acids. So here, we might have an amino acid that fits very well with my triangle. तीकर दिन जो था नाना दिग मारे तेज से थीर लारा तेज से गया ना दिखाने से चाहिए और लव है ना अमीनो चूर पहन से जो चाहिए और आ दिल तने ने ये दिखा दियो रेस। What happens with our other allele? तंग जो एलिल शिम्बा दिखा शना खरी चुंग रेस दिला। We have a diamond instead of our triangle. ता अमीनो चूर जो थीर लाओ रा दिना एलिल नी दिला मंडा And we have this amino acid over here. But this cannot interact with our diamond. It might look for a different triangle to find. Dila dungo na di sursum yodu gala di nyanyam do pinsu thik doa. Di nyanyam pinsu doa chi yu res. Thao na shita thanda di thangbo yu di dela derang shayu res peje. तो तंदर दी पालम सो इन्दु दिन ये पेंसु डेवो चिगी ओमारेस दी अमनो चुर दी पेजे दिल्ली रोजिलो डेवो चिगी रेस। So when this goes to fold, it might fold very differently. चल जानता दिन ये पेंसु डेवो चिगी लाने तेपसु दिल्ली थिग रोआ दी थे तो वाला मिंडा शू चाहिए रेस तेपसु थेप्तां दी। And it will not have the same function as our brown allele. दी लो दुआ न मंजो एलिल गैमुक चिगी तंदर चिले � चिपा चाय रह लाना चिपा चाय को मारे इस दे। Does that make sense? दिसे वो चार सेस। Question। हरे सेव चार मैंने चार मैं सुन रहा हूँ तुझे ये रहा। सेव चार से। Yeah, third question. रिक्शे चिगला हाँ, रिक्शे ला नंबर में डॉ एलिन नी रह सो। मिगी खादो लावरा, मिगी खादो गिरिज़े रेस लावरा, हाँ, एलिनी और लेकिन अधिक हर हर रेस लावरा, हम्म हम्म, so you said this is the same gene but two different alleles, so so what do you mean by alleles? When we say allele, we mean an instance of the gene, one example of the gene, one type of the gene. तो अलील लाना खंडे चिक लावर लाना रिक्शे चिक की पेशुई डॉल लावर आया ना रिक्शे चिक की डशुई देने चल खो रिक्शे चिक की रिक लाने खो गयी रेस। You might be able to say that we have two versions of each gene, one version from each parent. So it's two, it's two versions of the same gene. 
the rigzechi ki number ni do chai yo res so this person the eye color of the can we call the can we call the eye color of the person as allele of the person allele of that person well when we talk about alleles we're talking about genotypes we're talking at the level of dna and genes when we talk about eye color we're talking about traits characteristics things we can observe and that's the level of phenotype my phenotype is brown eyes. That's how I look. From the outside looking at me, that's my phenotype. So you don't know my genotype yet. Because I have brown eyes, I have at least one allele that's a big B. So this is me. And this is my husband. He has blue eyes, so he has to... That's his phenotype, blue eyes. But I know that his genotype then it has two alleles for blue. That's the only way he could have blue eyes. So you still don't know what I am yet with my genotype. But, but both of our boys are going to get a blue allele because that's all their father can give them. And it turns out one of my boys is brown eyes, so he had to get the big B from me. And one of my boys has blue eyes. And he wasn't adopted, I was there. He was not adopted, I was there. So I must have an allele for blue. And I actually knew that before. I didn't know what my I didn't know how many blue-eyed sons I might get, but I could tell you, um, my mother was blue-eyed. So I have to have a blue-eyed, a, a little blue allele, a little B allele. My father has brown eyes, so he has at least one big B. And besides me, there's other children, and some of them are blue-eyed, so I know my father had a little B allele. And I actually know that his mother had blue eyes. And over, over here there were six children and some of his brothers and sisters were blue eyed. So that means my grandfather was big B little B too. And so on. But this is my genotype, is big B little B. But this is my phenotype, brown eyes. Let's use an analogy. When I was created, I got a cell phone from my mom 
and a cell phone from my dad. The tambo maran jubdu gala mani khabar chigras phani khabar chigras. Same gene, but one copy from each parent. Dilo du rigze chig chayi ne dashu mani chig phani chigras. I got the small cell phone allele from my mom and the large cell phone allele from my dad. The khabar ge allele chunga jora di mani rares. Khabar ge allele chay di phani rares. One gene. Two copies, two alleles. Rigze chik che dashu ni an alil ni lagu restila. I also got the marker gene from my parents. Dila du ta ta chi rigze laura dinde ani ngara pama ni ra resya. One red marker, one red allele from my mom, one black allele from my dad. And the thanda pe chun di thanda marker la di di rang nyu rang pe ju shisra. Yichik di kare re la na mani mau ra res nyu go and pani nyu go na gura res. Same gene, two copies. Rigze chik res ta shu ni res. I also got the battery gene from both parents. Ta thang na shi lo zhe gi rigze ra res pa mani. Here I got one double A battery from my mom and one double A battery from my dad. One gene, two copies, two copies of the same allele. Dila du rigze chig rest, lozze do cha cha na rigze chig che da shu ni an allele ni resti. If I was to look at these alleles on chromosomes, ta allele dige chromosome thana chubung na ta guyo nas. I would have these on one chromosome that I got from my mom. One chromosome, one string of DNA, many genes, all of the alleles from my mom. The di magi thanda di mani chungwe chobu di bachashas di la di dela ni rize mangbu jiores di mani rasha jo di bachashas. I would have also have a chromosome from my dad. And thau na shi pani chobu jiores. This is the father's chromosome with the genes lined up with different alleles. Di la di pai chromosome ra chobu ra jo di nala rize di nzo di ne di jiores. But the battery allele is the same between mother and father chromosome. If I was to write my genotype, then I got the large cell phone from my, oh, let's say from my phone. I got the large phone from my dad, the little phone from my mom. I got. Let's say the black, the red marker from my mom, and the black one from my dad. And for batteries, I got the same. The person show in us raw. The deep honey raw, the deep money raw, she raw. Deep honey, the other exit, the chasho, and a little chasho, and a deep copper chai, a little dress. Money, copper chunga, a little dress. And then I see the thunder marker, you would you are, the new good now would be funny rawch, you would maw the money rawch. The loads is shasha and the loads in you get cheaper is. Makes sense. So one set of these came from my dad, one set came from my mom, and this would be my genotype. The D can in the chung or lana punish chung was, the money chung was. Then you get rigging, dupcha di tawena, di chavi res. Questions. The two are yours. You get this too. <laughs> Who's it gonna all, be? <laughs> all the DNA together is called your genome. That's what people will you hear them. We're gonna sequence your genome. That's all your DNA in your cell and your nucleus. Tabungi nalo tenyinge ra tenyinge nalo DNA chazang la khalir la na yam do domba na genome la gyo res. Thanda. ดีเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเงินเ
어쨌든 이게 힘만 되는 유아친구 아니면 아니면 유아친구 모르겠어 이게 힘만 되는 유아친구 아니면 아니면 되는 유아친구 모르겠어 나는 힘만 집집상 받아갈 수 없어 이게 힘만 되나 So there are three questions. The first one is <laughs> DNA is made up of four bases, but when we uh, talk about the process of transcription and translation, they use only three bases as a codon. So what is that? And the second question is, mm, you said there is the DNA is present only in the nucleus in eukaryotic cells, but you said there is a new uh, DNA in mitochondria as well. So, <laughs> and you said it is important for uh, as a hereditary material, so it passed on from mother to child. And the third question is, uh, since you said in, in a codon, when there is a change in the third basis, third base, there is not much difference. But when you showed this example, uh, you changed this third base, G into A, and the shape of the amino acid changed. So, yeah. how is it? <laughs> Excellent questions. Um, I will answer question two first. I forget what was question two. Mitochondria. <laughs> oh, yes. You caught me in a lie. You caught me in a lie. <laughs> Uh, yes, mitochondria do have their own DNA, which is in the mitochondria outside of the nucleus. I just ignored it for simplicity because mitochondria have about 16 genes, whereas we have about 30,000 on the rest of our DNA. How many genes did you say in mitochondria? Like 16. The DNA of the mitochondria is about, in people, about 16,000 bases in a mitochondria. The DNA of the mitochondria is about Whereas the DNA in the nucleus is on the order of. So if this is the DNA in the mitochondria, it's about 16,000. Basis. And this is how much is in the nucleus? Well, around that much. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So how much? Three. You said 30,000, right? Uh, 30, uh, 3 billion. Okay. Terbum sum risha. Ti marsha. Terbum sum yores. And the dit dirsha gonda. Tanda dirigze ke shiwa mara. Pilze di ra. Pilze di ani terbum sum yores. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, can I have a mark? Yeah, yeah. Okay, other question. Why do we read DNA in threes? You're right, there are four bases in DNA, absolutely. And you're right that we, the message is um, to make protein is three at a time or being a protein, uh, but I mean, why is it? The answer is actually very logical. We have four bases to work with and we have to encode for 20 amino acids. To do that, if we used just one base, we could encode for four different amino acids. Uh, if we use two bases, right.
we could make 16 different amino acids. So we can't read just one, we can't read just two, right? We have to code by reading three, which gives us a big enough code to read the 20 different amino acids. This brings us to question number three. Why do some of the bases not matter? 64 is a lot more than 20. So multiple of these can go to the same amino acid. Can you ask it if, if that answered the question or if this is what was asking? Yes. 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 Other questions? Oh. And the last question. So oh, there's a third. Right, there's question. a change in the third base. Question number three, yes. Um, change in the third base. So since we can have the same codons go to the same amino acid, that's when there are multiple codons for the same amino acid, it's usually a difference at the third base just because that's easier um, to, to read as the same. Um, but so, it's not always true. Sometimes changing the third base does matter. So there are only 20 amino acids? <laughs> yes, except for some very special life forms. <laughs> If we include those very special life forms, there are 22 amino acids, but most of life uses just 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so
So during the developmental stage of the eye, when the eye has not become a fully formed organ, uh, during the tissue stage, <coughs> so can we look at the proteins of the tissue and say this uh, this will turn into an eye organ which has blue color or which will have uh, brown color? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, as it gets closer to development, we can look at the proteins and see what type of cell that will become and whether it will be blue eyes or brown eyes. We can even, when I was pregnant, um, they took some blood from my arm, and mother's blood has just a little bit of cells and DNA from the baby inside of them. So they took some of my blood, read the DNA of my baby to make sure there would not be any bad diseases in it. If we just to show you how different that would not have been possible when I was having my children, that test would not be possible. So we could tell, scientists could tell you from before the baby is born whether they will have brown eyes or blue eyes. Did Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 So what he said is like when you read codons, last time you said like when there is a change in a single base, so all the uh, like the sequence of the codon is messed up. So but today when you showed when there is a change in one base, there is not much change. Like I mean there is no change in the sequence. So and the second question is uh, so we see that uh, during transcription the DNA uh, opens up and then it forms RNA. So uh, you have shown that it's, uh, the transcription is happening inside the nucleus only and it looks like the uh, DNA is copying itself. So there will be more chromosome in the nucleus itself. 
So it looks like in the nucleus, the DNA keeps on dividing. There are more, like after each division, the number of chromosomes increases. It looks like after every division, there is more chromosome in the nucleus itself. Okay. And there is no cell division. I'll give the super fast answers to those two questions so that we can get some tea. Oh, that such a person with syndrome does such a thing. Till two and in the lane, do you choose gains? So um, the first question was about when we change this one base, it didn't make a big difference, or it only changed one thing. Right, so changing this to a C only changed this one amino acid. But if my mutation, instead of changing a base to a C, I add a C, the case G the Guatanas have Langigi. I read this normal, I read this normal, but now I have an extra base, so I'm not reading. I should be reading these, but I'm reading these. I've been shifted over, and I will continue to be shifted for the whole rest of the gene, so everything after will be wrong. Is that good for question one? The Oh, so that means there's an addition of a base, right? Yes. Oh, res. And the Okay, second question. Here's my nucleus in my cell. I have my DNA. I open up my DNA. And I copy part of it into RNA. The detaining Ross Ra, Tabungi Tening the chair, and the DNA the rest. The DNA the Kachiglana, Popshu Church, the Kachig Rosti, and the RNA Jigsu, the Dashu Chigres. Once I'm done copying my gene, that RNA goes out into the cytoplasm. It leaves the nucleus. The RNA the call Dur Lana, Tening the Shani, Tazina Dures. And my DNA closes back up. And is exactly the same as it used to be. And DNA, the RNA, so the RNA, the dura, the dura side, jala rangja khaya dura reste. No, the DNA can't do the rangja side rest. Is that good? Seu cha seu sai. Okay, we'll see you after tea. Ta gela chio na seja farsing jale isa.